Now, are you feeling lucky? Well, people have been warned to buy their online lotto tickets as soon as possible to avoid a last-minute rush. Tonight's winner could be the biggest ever in the UK. A record-breaking prize of £57.8 million, which is built up after a marathon 14 rollovers, must be won today. So, what are your chances? Well, since October, it's been harder to win the National Lottery. The number of balls used in each draw increased from 49 to 59. Since then, it's been about three times harder to match all six numbers. Under the old system, the odds were a mere 14 million to one, just greater than your chances of becoming a professional astronaut. With this new lottery, it's now 45 million to one, meaning you're about twice as likely to be made a saint. To compensate, Camelot has guaranteed that at least two millionaires each week and 20 winners of a £20,000 prize. And of course, if you don't win the jackpot tonight, and face it, you're not very likely to, then if you match just two numbers, you'll at least win a lucky dip ticket for a future draw. So let's talk a little bit more about the probabilities. Uh, depress ourselves, really, if we've got a ticket. Dr Emily Grossman is a science and maths broadcaster and educator and an expert on ducks. Uh, duck quacks don't echo, that's, that's what right. it's called, isn't it? And she's here to explain a little bit more. <coughs> so run us through. Someone sitting at home with a ticket in their hand feeling really hopeful. Should they really feel hopeful they'll win that big jackpot? OK, so the chance of winning the actual jackpot, as you said, is uh, 1 in 45 million. Now, the way that that comes about is that because we've got 59 balls, for the first ball that's picked out, there's 59 to choose from, and you've got six numbers, so that's six out of 59. Then five out of uh, 58, four out of 57, and so on down. So it comes out, if you times those all together, those fractions, it becomes 1 in 45 million. Um, it's actually more likely, as you said, that you could become an astronaut, that you could be hit by lightning, that you would have... Um, we've, done, we've done a few drawings to, to illustrate, yeah. you know, so you can imagine so what lightning looks like. it's four times and... more likely that you get hit by lightning than winning the jackpot tonight, unfortunately, or that you could have identical quadruplets um, or be by hit by falling debris from a plane. Um, but there is some good news because the whole point of this rollover, because, it, because it's gone over 50 million now, what that means is that somebody has to win or some people have to share that prize. So if no one wins the actual jackpot, which is possible, it could roll down to the next level, which is five balls plus the bonus. Now, we're six times more likely to win at five balls plus bonus because you've effectively, you're choosing six balls, but out of seven options this time. So you're effectively buying six different versions of a lottery ticket with your one ticket. So that means that it's now a seven and a half million chance to one, win, to one of winning. Um, but it is still more likely unfortunately that you would be eaten alive by flesh-eating bacteria um, you would die falling off a ladder falling out of bed or drowning in the bath then the very cheerful <laughs> options you've chosen <laughs> or, or that you would get uh, a gold in the olympics then, that's a more positive then, way than winning it, I the, think. The seven, then <laughs> but you're winning. not going to get that either exactly and does it is it affected by the fact that there are a huge number of people who are seeing the big jackpot and thinking I'm going to buy a ticket when they normally wouldn't would there be more people buying tickets how does that affect right. your chances so it doesn't affect the chances the odds of actually winning but what it does affect is how many people you'd have to share it between so the more people who buy the more likely you are to have to share that prize but it is definitely still worth buying tickets because no matter what happens you've got a one in roughly nine chance of winning something which is pretty good so even one in every nine chance people, to play again even if it's a chance to just play again and of course all the money that people spend on tickets a lot of it does go to funding really great projects so it's definitely worth That's buying very a positive ticket. <laughs> it, of course, and it, but it has got harder generally, hasn't it, since it has those changes harder. in October? So They've changes got more balls to choose from. Exactly, which, as you said, makes it three times less likely to win the jackpot. And in fact, that jack, it, it, there, there is still a relatively good chance. There's still more chance than, for example, dying by falling coconut or dying by being crushed by a vending machine. I so love the way you say possible. that so cheerfully with a big <laughs> smile on your face. Have you bought a ticket? Do you know what? I haven't, but I think I'm going to go and buy one now. You've persuaded yourself <laughs> yes. by, by talking through some extraordinary odds. Yeah. Well, Dr. Emily, Gross Emily Grossman, lovely to see you. Thanks very much Thank indeed. You. <laughs>